Kelsey, well done. Point on the road. First competitive goal of the season. Must be a happy dressing room tonight. Uh, yeah, it's it's could be happier if I mean if we got all the four three points. But uh, personally, opening the account early and then a point. I mean, it's never a bad thing with it being a tough place to come here. You've uh, fought through seven games in pre-season. You've you've hit form personally at the end with three and two. You, did you feel good about yourself coming into today? Yeah, I feel like I mean I was getting frustrated with myself during pre-season with with not not scoring goals early on, but then come in bunches and uh, I feel like confidence coming into the first game, it came at the right time. And that Grimsby game, you can almost see a visible release. You got one, you got two, you could have had three and four that night and I wouldn't say you'd done badly during the opening part of pre-season, but strikers thrive on confidence when, when goals are flying in, don't they? And it, and it looked like that today when that ball was delivered. Yeah, it's it's one of them things, I think, if you ask any any number nine or any any forward players, it's, it's like three points is, is the biggest thing, but I mean, goals... Goals are what win football matches, and every every number nine wants that glory. I mean, didn't, didn't win a football match, but point to point to point. You're wearing the number nine. It's obviously a coveted number at most clubs. Managers brought you in, and I guess you and Jimmy are the two that he's really back into to go and get some goals this year. Uh, yeah, I mean, after speaking with the gaffer in the summer, it was one of them where it was like I always wanted to come here and, and work with him, and uh, it's nice to see that we've we've kind of repaid his faith in us during pre-season to, to get the first start of the season. And how big a result from the fact that you were a goal down? Boston were here on Easter Monday, very similar game, lost 1-0 that day, didn't deserve to. Looked like you were going to suffer the same fate today, but you pulled it out and that's got to do everybody the world of good. Yeah, I mean, it's one of them where you, you play for some teams and it's just they don't have that, that cutting edge and I think we just kept knocking on the door, kept knocking on the door. And then uh, eventually, eventually it broke, and then we could, we could have had a few more, to be honest with you. Um, but you know, a point, point of this place, you, you take that any day of the week. You're not the biggest squad in the world, numbers-wise, but it does look like you've got plenty of guts and heart and determination and and some ability as well. So that's hopefully going to carry you a long way. Yeah, we've got some good experience and some good hungry young lads. Um, I mean, I class myself as one of the senior ones, which is strange to come into come into the room at 24. But uh, you know. I, I'm really enjoying it. Lads are great. Uh, the management team and the manager is brilliant, and uh, hopefully just build on it from here. How big a season for you? Because obviously you were doing well at Lamington. I remember you bullying a couple of our centre halves 18 months, two years ago, and then suffered that terrible injury. Has it been hard to to come back from that? Yeah, I mean it was probably the hardest thing I ever did during having the injury and having to sit on the sidelines for so long. Um, but it's, it just makes me more more grateful and work even harder to just stay fit and score goals and be successful. And it's a good start on the road. You've ticked that one off. Um, two home games to come now, so a chance to get properly up and running over the next few days. Yeah, I mean, next week is is where hopefully we can get get the stadium bouncing, get all the fans down there and get our first three points on the board and then, then onwards and upwards.